Hello, draw tips and tricks, and today's little video is going to be uh, kind of a little extra on color filling. Uh, this is something I made for a customer that's shipping 15 of these to Puerto Rico for a national conference, evidently. And this is not really a Corel draw video so much as it is a uh, engraving. So you've got this logo that you're going to engrave, and I've actually got a line set at seven inches and because the board is seven inches tall and this is the bottom of the board this isn't we've actually changed the design this was three inch wood and uh inch and a half wood we've changed it to two inch wood so this is what the customer sent me and this is what i drew up and then we wanted to make it out of solid wood so i found some two inch wood but that's not what the video is about when you're engraving this you want to go really deep and for a couple reasons. One, you need to sand it to take off the, the burn residue and then take a air compressor hose and, and uh, blow out the dust. And then you want to coat it in shellac. In that video, if you just type in Corel Draw Tips and Trick Laser Color Fill, you can watch that video on how to do that. But that's not what this video is about. As you can see, I ran this three times at 50 speed to get the depth. Now, I could have probably ran it at, I ran it at 100 power 50 speed. I could have run it at 100 power at 16 speed, but I was really afraid that it was going to burn too much because it was going too slow. And I'm making 15 of these, so I would need to run it three times. So here's a little insight. If you have a location and you're just sitting there for this to run, and it takes four minutes and 52 seconds on my laser to run and just for instance i ran the job at 16 speed and it came out to like nine and a half minutes so it, it's going to take you a little time to, more time to do it you know three runs but in my instance on this and this is why the video is for i can be sanding one of the blocks as it, after it came out of the machine and put the other block in there and I don't have to go back every and I want to you never want to leave your laser unattended but I've got a camera set up on mine with a TV monitor where I can watch it so I could be sanding other blocks of wood and, and sanding the burn residue off and even coating them with shellac that'll be mentioned in that other video but what I learned and I never had done this before and I do not have a laser set up to this computer but the screen it almost looks the same when you go to engrave and you're going to have your preferences and I don't have a laser so I can't really do the preferences but if you go to this copy and hit it three times so you'll make three copies the laser will run this job go back home come back and run the job go back home and come back and run the job it'll actually do it faster than you could sit there and probably press if you were standing there waiting for it to finish it'll actually do a little faster so if you need to run deep and i sh and i could have maybe done a test piece but i've done things with uh and this was run at 600 dots per inch and i've run at 1200 dots per inch and it really charged the edge it, it it doesn't have a clean edge so by running this three times i get a really good depth but i've got real sharp clean lines to paint to so if you want to watch that paint fill video it's just just type in your youtube or since you're watching this right below there will be my name and you'll see my channel anyway i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching